I know I promised you guys this vid probably a year ago at this point, but it's finally here. And I'm sorry if I sound like, um, absolute poodoo doo doo. Um, I'm sick. I'm very sick. But I promised Birdie I would make a video, so I, I kinda have to. Quasi will do this thing where he'll randomly go on side quests and just do random ass shit in between his TikToks. Like, I can't say that Quasi's updates have been great on TikTok. He doesn't really make new TikToks, he pretty much just reposts really old ones from like 2021 or 2020, or he'll make like quick cap cut ones. I'm, I swear to you guys, in between season one and season two, he was making a bunch of TikToks showing off stuff for season two, but there was no updates in between season two or season three, and we only got the theme for the update like a month before the actual update came out. But randomly, Quasi will come back out of nowhere and just show off something that he's randomly been working on and that's like in completely insane. The first example of this was with Creative Mode and then probably recently his side survival game that he's been working on. But Creative is super exciting not only because it's something that uh, Quasi- it's just so outside of SF's comfort zone, but also for the competitive scene, making competitive maps that you know, we can use to 1v1, that's just, it's really exciting. Like, what if there was one map that the comp community could agree, like, was, like, the best for 1v1s? What if tournaments like Farming Series or Nene Cup had their own unique, special map that they would do their tournament on? It's super cool, the only problem is that this would be really difficult to uh, integrate into Shotgun Farmers without it being really janky, so here's my proposal on how you can... Do, you know, do create a mode, make it fancy, and still have it work with the rest of Shotgun Farmers. So first of all, when you hit play, you're going to see four boxes, and that is going to be play, horde mode, practice, and creative mode. I think we should remove the LTM from that section because you can literally find it on the main menu anyway, so it's not like you wouldn't be able to find it. And I think that whole play menu would be completely filled up with five boxes. I think that just wouldn't look very good. When you click on creative, you have two options, create a room or join a room, pretty simple. Let's start with creating a room and creating it all together because I feel like that is probably the most trickiest part. So if you hit, you know, create, I feel like you'll be brought with different templates regarding pretty much like each map. Pretty much a base plate, a boundary, just a f floor, a different color depending on whatever map. Like if you want to make an island map, you could. If you pick the ocean side one, or if you want to make like a forest map, you could. If you pick like the forest side one, stuff like that. Just something for you to start out in. For here, it's gonna be really easy. If you pick the countryside, you lay out. You just are like on the countryside floor, the same colored grass, pretty much same background or whatever. The, whatever they want to do. But let's say you pick a map template. You're here. There's nothing. You can create whatever you want. Whatever. I feel like there should be three tabs in like a menu for creative and that is like your builder mode so you can put in whatever create your actual map a game modes tab where you work out the path like you would put in your pig spawn your different uh crop drop spawns your uh scarecrow spawns most importantly your regular spawns where you would actually spawn in game and number three in options slash social menu I feel like you should be able to publish the map from inside the map, so you would have like a publish map button, a delete map button, a save map button, uh, maybe like a revert save button. How I imagine that people would be able to make maps with each other is when you create a map, it gives you a room code, and if you put in the room code and enter the password that the map creator makes, then you get to make the map while they're still in the room. You would be able to change the password, so if you didn't want someone rejoining, you could just switch up the password. And if someone's, like, trolling or griefing in the, you know, in the map building, you can just kick them out easily through the menu. Publishing it, I guess, would require a couple different things, like making a title for it. You could put in a description. You would probably have to take a picture with, with, within the map so that people could actually see what they're playing. And boom, you can post it out into the world. Now it's time for, like, how would you actually play? Well, if you click like the play game one, it would be pretty much like Fortnite, where you can just browse a bunch of thumbnails and titles. Maybe sort it by like which ones are most popular, like the newest ones, stuff like that. Once you click on a game, it would be like three options, like uh, join game, join private, or create a private. If you click join game, it would just put you into some random public match. If you clicked create private, you know, you would make your own, like determine whatever game modes you want basically just creating you know a regular map in shotgun farmers all the gmos all the different maps all the game modes stuff like that 
From how I'm thinking about it, I don't think each map should have its own code. You should be able to like favorite maps to keep coming back to it, but I feel like uh, each map should get a unique code depending on like what private room you join. So multiple people's you know, games under the same map would have different room codes, and the map itself wouldn't have a actual room code, it would just have like a name, thumbnail, whatever, for people to recognize it by. Quasi should obviously put like sensors on titles to make sure that people don't make like super inappropriate titles. I think maybe having like a report system for maps would be good because you know as soon as creative comes out people are going to make heinous stuff, spell out heinous things, make heinous symbols, and just post it with like clickbaity titles and stuff like that. There's going to be a lot of trash and I obviously creative rooms, I don't know how filled up they'll get but it's just going to be trash with a bunch of like really inappropriate stuff. So I think maybe having like a report feature for people to like manually review it, I think that'd be a pretty good idea. Give a feature to like put up text in maps, by the way, I think that would be super useful. Maybe have a weekly map that you feature, I think that would be super cool. Creative mode would also like lead people to make like cool like parkour maps, like maze maps, stuff like that. And although the thing with SF is time runs out, I don't think you necessarily have to change that for these maps to be successful. Like maybe there can be an option for no time limit, but I don't necessarily think that's necessary because creative mode isn't made for parkour or any of this extra stuff, it's made specifically for games. And I don't know how many, like how bad it would be to have a billion servers running of games that never run out. I don't know how much that would affect the game servers. I don't know. Anyway, that's kind of my quick run through plan. I hope everything's explained fairly well. Um, I feel like the most important thing is being able to like join rooms based on like scrolling through like all the different like you know fortnite creative you can just scroll through all the different thumbnails and titles and pick one that you want i think it's important to have like i said every single map shouldn't have their own room code but if you, you were to make a game within the map it would have its own room code stuff like that you know but anyway this should be a really cool feature i'm really hoping that quasi does add it because it's really cool and it would be a shame if it was just thrown away i don't know when uh it was it's supposed to come out Probably not for like another year, but I promised Creative Logistics a year ago. I thought I would finally follow through on it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Old Deaky videos are coming back with OG thumbnails and stuff like that. I feel like I've kind of been cloning Birdie, trying to make successful videos instead of making videos that I used to actually like making. Very easy, low effort commentary videos. So I'm going to be trying to go back to that. So I will see you guys in the next low effort commentary video, which... May or may not be in seven months, I have no way of telling.